Okay, you have to start. You have to start something? Yeah, something. I mean, like you. Why is it saying that? Alright, this video is a video of the behind the scene footage of the last video that you saw. If you haven't seen the video yet, this behind the scene video won't make any sense. So you have to stop watching this video now, go to the description and click on the link below and watch that video. It's the Porter Prince 2 Jackmail video. Watch that and then come back to this video and you can understand it better. All right, so in this video, this scene that you're gonna see is me actually setting up the Mavic Pro on the side of the road to get the aerial footage of the video that you just watched. All right, so check out this scene. Take your car, don't worry about that. Keep taking your... Stay, stay more inside, you know, I'm going to stay more. I, I don't see it anymore. Okay, it looks good. This is the behind the scenes footage of how I actually got the video from the last video you just saw with us traveling from Port-au-Prince to Jack Mel. The drone is up in the air, we're ready to go. Alright. I'm good. Alright, now when I'm getting in the car, you could actually hear the driver say the door, one of the doors are open, but no one really paid attention to it. But in the video, while I'm flying over the car, you can actually see the back door open. And we didn't notice the back door was open until we actually stopped somewhere and, and noticed that the door was open. Um, here's a video. It was a good thing our luggage was in the back and nothing fell out the car. So that was a, a good thing about that. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm recording this in 4K. Right now I have 18 satellites connected to the drone. Okay, the way I was actually keeping up with the car, if you look at the video, the car was actually moving pretty fast. It was doing about 40, 45 at some point. But I didn't want him to slow down. I want him to keep going because I wanted to get the actual drive of the, the video. But the way I was keeping up with it, I was taking shortcuts. The way I was taking shortcuts, you see the road was actually turning. It wasn't actually always going straight. It was turning and, and curving around. So I was in the air, instead of taking a turn with the car, I would cut through. Let me show you. All right. See, this is the mountain. And we're driving. This is the road. Here's the road. But the road on the mountain wasn't actually going straight. It would curve this way, like that. Then it'll curve back around, around the mountain to the other side. So when I was flying 
the drone, I'm flying the drone this way, and the car is going this way, I would see that the curve was coming up ahead, so I would cut through and be in front of the car when it came around. That's the way I was keeping up with the car. And if you see in the video where I was actually at the bridge waiting for the car, take a look at that. I waited for the car at the bridge where you saw it, where I slowed down and waited. And when the car actually came into the view of the Mavic, that's when I started picking up speed with the Mavic. So that's how I got the scene driving through the bridge on that video. Are we going over the bridge? We should stop before that? No, no, no. It's at the bridge. Oh, he's, he's in front of me? Yeah. Yes, we're coming. Oh, you want me to go faster? No, no, no. Oh, so I'm doing just good. As oh, okay. okay. Uh -huh. No. I'll take shortcuts. Okay. Okay, now I see. Alright, this part you're about to see is where I got a little bit scared. You see I got a warning sign on the screen telling me that the Maverick is about to turn around. The reason why I was about to turn around was because where it lift off at in the beginning, it was set as its home point. And the Maverick was calculating the distance that it already flew to the amount of battery life it had left. So it was about to stop and turn around and go back. And not until I read it and I was like, oh no, I forgot to set the home point to the remote instead of where it actually lift off at and once I press cancel everything was fine and I kept on flying it until the battery alarm came on and then I found a spot where we pulled over at and that's when I actually came out the car where you're gonna see now and I went out and I caught it in the air okay you have to stop yeah okay. Where is it saying that? Um, no, no. Right. Okay, we're good, we're good. Just go, right. stop. Warning, remain battery. Oh, your battery is dying, honey? Oh, no, okay, I think that I'm... Okay, we're good. Go ahead. Stop or go? We're good, we're good. We're good as uh, go or go. stay? Go. Go. Okay. Any, anywhere, anywhere, please. It's just telling me the battery is low, but we're we're good. It's gonna come back to you now. It's gonna. Yeah. yeah. It's coming back to you. Yeah, you stop. So should I continue recording? No, here's good. No, yeah. Continue stop. recording. I'm okay. gonna go in front of it and catch it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's it. That's all for the behind the scene video. If you have any questions or comment or something I left out, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it. I used the Canon 80D inside the car. My sister was actually holding that to film me. And the uh, DJI Mavic Pro was the actual drone that I used to catch the aerial footage. So I thank you guys for watching and there's gonna be more videos on Haiti. So Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and thanks a lot if you did already and I'll see you next time Thanks for watching Dano, they were in, it's not, it's no good. No, turn over. Yeah.
Do you agree? Yeah. Oh, I see you. All right, shut up. Oh, my best is my back on the beat. I'm recording deadly. You just move your head, okay? Okay. I'm not gonna have you move your head. I don't know you. Come here. I'm recording. Do you understand? You're talking.